Saint Padre Pio is said to have made many prophecies during his lifetime. Some of these prophecies have been documented while others have been passed down orally. However, nothing could have prepared us for one of the scariest prophecies that he made throughout his lifetime, and this was the prophecy of the three days of darkness. What could this prophecy possibly be? Why is the prophecy of the three days of darkness a scary revelation? Join us as we take you through the scariest prophecy made by Saint Padre Pio that has shocked the world. Before we delve into the topic of our video, let's see who Padre Pio was for a better understanding of what is to come. Padre Pio, born Francesco Forgioni, was an Italian priest who lived from 1887 to 1968. He was a Capuchin friar and is considered a saint in the Catholic Church. He was born to Giuseppe and Gracius Forgione in a small town known as Pietrelcina, Italy, on May 25, 1887. He was from a poor family of farmers. He had shown interest in religious life and entered the Capuchin order at the age of 15. He was ordained a priest in 1910 and was assigned to the town of San Giovanni Rotondo. In 1918, Padre Pio began to experience the stigmata, a phenomenon that couldn't be explained by anyone and still stands as a mind-boggling event. The stigmata that appeared on Padre Pio's body were the five wounds of Christ that were inflicted on him during his crucifixion. These wounds appeared on Padre Pio's hands, feet and side and they were reportedly accompanied by intense pain. The stigmata is a rare phenomenon that's been reported in the lives of other saints and mystics throughout history. There is no scientific explanation for the stigmata and it's often seen as a sign of great holiness and spirituality. These wounds bled periodically and never got infected even though they kept bleeding and the wounds smelled of roses. The wounds would heal on their own but reappear after a few days or weeks. However, these wounds were not visible to everyone, but they were authenticated by the church. The stigmata became a source of great devotion for many people and he attracted pilgrims from all over the world. What made him stand out the most was the final warning he gave everyone about the three days of darkness that are about to come. How important are these revelations? Should we be ready for the worst times of our lives? Let's find out soon, and trust me, you'll want to pay close attention now because these answers may surprise you. Padre Pio wrote a personal letter to the Commission of Heraldsbach, which was appointed by the Vatican. In the letter, Padre Pio testifies to the truth and reality of the revelations that he received from our Lord. He described his spiritual life and the graves he received from God, including the gift of the stigmata. This is what he wrote in his letter. My son, my son, I have been longing for this hour, in which I shall reveal to you the great love of my heart. Pray and make reparation to me. Admonish others to do the same, because the time is near at hand in which I shall visit my unfaithful people, because they have not heeded the time of my grace. Persevere in prayer, so that your adversary shall have no dominion over you. Tell my people to be prepared at all times, for my judgment shall come upon them suddenly and when least expected, and not one shall escape my hands, I shall find them all. I shall protect the just, watch the sun and the moon and the stars of the heavens. When they appear to be unduly disturbed and restless, know that the day is not far away. Stay united in prayer and watching until the angel of destruction has passed your doors. Pray that these days will be shortened. Pray, make reparation. Be fervent and practice mortifications. Great things are at stake. Pray. Men are running towards the abyss of hell in great rejoicing and merrymaking as though they were going to a masquerade ball or the wedding feast of the devil himself. Assist me in the salvation of the souls. The measure of sin is filled. The day of revenge with its terrifying happenings is near, nearer than you can imagine. And the world is seeping in false security. The divine judgment shall strike them like a thunderbolt. These godless and wicked people shall be destroyed without mercy, as were the inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah of old. Yes, I tell you, 
their wickedness was not as great as that of human race today. Keep your windows well covered. Do not look out. Light a blessed candle which will suffice for many days. Pray the rosary. Read spiritual books. Make acts of spiritual communion, also acts of love which are so pleasing to us. Pray with outstretched arms or prostrate on the ground in order that many souls may be saved. Do not go outside the house. Provide yourself with sufficient food. The powers of nature shall be moved and a rain of fire shall make people tremble with fear. Have courage. I am in the midst of you. Take care of animals during these days. I am the creator and preserver of animals as well as man. I shall give you a few signs beforehand at which time you should place more food before them. I will preserve the property of the elect, including the animals, for they shall be in need of sustenance afterwards as well. Let no one go across the yard even to feed the animals. He who steps outside will perish. Cover your windows carefully. My elect shall not see my wrath. Have confidence in me and I will be your protection. Hurricanes of fire will pour forth from the clouds and spread over the entire earth. Storms and bad weather, thunderbolts and earthquakes will cover the earth for two days. An uninterrupted rain of fire will take place. It will begin on a very cold night. All this is to prove that God is the master of creation. Those who hope in me and believe in my words have nothing to fear because I will not forsake them nor those who spread my message. No harm will come to those who are in the state of grace and who seek my mother's protection. That you may be prepared for these visitations, I will give you the following signs and instructions. The night will be very cold. The wind will roar. After a time, thunderbolt will be heard. Lock all the doors and windows. Talk to no one outside the house. Kneel down before a crucifix. Be sorry for your sins and beg my mother's protection. Do not look during the earthquake, because the anger of God is holy. Jesus does not want us to behold the anger of God, because God's anger must be contemplated with fear and trembling. Those who disregard this advice will be killed instantly. The wind will carry with it poisonous gases which will be diffused over the entire earth. Those who suffer and die innocently will be martyrs and they will be with me in my kingdom. Satan will triumph. But in three nights the earthquake and fire will cease. On the following day the sun will shine again, angels will descend from heaven and will spread the spirit of peace over the earth. Feeling of immeasurable gratitude will take possession of those who survive this most terrible ordeal, the impending punishment with which God will visit the earth since creation. How unconcerned men are regarding these things, which shall so soon come upon them contrary to all expectations. How indifferent they are in preparing themselves for these unheard of events, through which they will have to pass so shortly the weight of divine balance has reached the earth. The wrath of my Father shall be poured out over the entire world. I am again warning the world through your instrumentality, as I have so often done heretofore. On that day, as soon as complete darkness has set in, no one shall leave the house or look out from the window. The darkness shall last for three days, and on the third night, the stars will shine again, and on the next morning, the sun shall rise again and it will be springtime. In the days of darkness, my elect shall not sleep, as did the disciples in the garden. They shall pray incessantly, and they shall not be disappointed in me. I shall gather my elect. Hell will believe itself to be in possession of the entire earth, but I shall reclaim it. Again and again I have warned men, and often I have given them special opportunities to return to the right path. Now. Wickedness has reached its climax, and the punishment can no longer be delayed. Tell all that the time has come in which these things shall be fulfilled. These warnings were given to Padre Pio by none other than our Lord Jesus Christ. You should know that Padre Pio was not the only one who received this revelation. 
The prophecy is said to have originated with the Blessed Virgin Mary, who appeared to several saints and mystics over the centuries, in which include Anne Catherine Emmerich, Blessed Anna Maria Taigi, Blessed John Bosco, and Saint Faustina Kowalska. My dear friends, the Great Tribulation cannot be explained better than this. So, what do we do now? Like Padre Pio said, we must have confidence in our Lord Jesus Christ and return to the right path before it's too late.